Hi guys and welcome. Today's project is going to be an autumn themed adjustable dog collar. So I will be using a biothene adapter on this collar. If you're not familiar with a biothene adapter, I will leave a link to a video that I have that I teach you guys how to make your own. You can use leather instead of the biothene, but I like the biothene just a little bit better. Don't get me wrong, leather looks awesome on a dog collar, but with biothene you can just about always be able to match up the color to your dog collar as well as it's very very easy to clean and it's very sturdy. So I do like the biothene just a little bit better, um, but again leather, leather looks good on a dog. So. Um, I will leave a link below for you guys if you're interested. So the colors of cord that I'm going to be using on this collar are, this is a 550 Pericord uh, Burnt Orange and that is what my double cow's hitch is hooked up to. I will leave another link below if you're not familiar with how to do a double cow's hitch. I show you how to do it on... Um, these square rings as well as on a quick release buckle. The square rings that I'm using here are three-fourths of an inch and I have one on each side of, oh a squeaky, of my um, setup. So again this is 550 Pericord in burnt orange I'm also going to be using I'm also going to be using 550 pericord in this uh, cream and burnt orange diamond as well as an imperial red and a turquoise and all of the cord is 550 pericord that I'll be using today. So the first cord that I'm going to be using today is the cream and burnt orange diamond. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to loosen up my cow stitches just a little bit. And I am using a pericord needle, but if you don't have one, you can melt the top of your cord just a little bit so it's a hard cap to push it through. I'm going to take my cord and I'm going to go in between both of these cow stitches. So I'm going right in between those cow's hitches and I'm going to pull this to the other side and bring the middle to the top of my work. The next cord that I'm going to be adding is my imperial red and what you want to do here is, oh let me move this over, sorry about that. What you want to do here is you're going to take your imperial red and you're going to find the middle of the cord and fold it over and you're going to make a, like a little loop. Then you're going to take your two um, cow's hitches and you're going to just push them to the, each side so you have a little like gap right there. What you're going to do now is you're going to take your imperial red, you're going to take this loop and you're going to just go down your square ring. So you're just going to go down that ring. and pull this out and then you're going to take these loose ends and just push them down the loop that you just made and what you're doing is you're just making another cow's hitch in the middle and then just like that. So I'm going to loosen this cow's hitch up just a little bit and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my turquoise and I'm actually going to put it through that cow's hitch. Just that red one. So I'm going to take my turquoise and I'm just going to go right in that cow's hitch, take it to the other side, bring the middle of the cord up to the top. Okay, so once you have all of your cord um, at the top in the middle you can tighten up your work and double check your measurements and also you can roll up all of your ends it does make it a little bit easier to work with 
once once we're done with that we can just start and I'm gonna be starting on my right side and I'm gonna take my burnt orange and I'm gonna go underneath the first cord which is on my left over the second cord which is on my right so I'm just going right up the middle so take your burnt orange on your right side and just basically go right up that middle and then over next you're going to take your cord on the left the burnt orange on the left go underneath the cord that you just worked and you're going to go underneath the first cord which is now your left cord right up the middle and then over your second cord which is the cord on the right so go underneath right up the middle and then over now you're going to take your orange diamond now and what we're going to do here is we're going to go underneath all of our work with the one on the right and you're going to come right up the middle and then down this loop that is on your right side take your orange diamond on the left side now and go underneath right up the middle and then you're going to go down this loop on your left side the next cord that we're going to take is the turquoise on your right side and what you're going to do is you have these two horizontal orange burnt orange pieces you can pick them up a little bit I'm going to take my turquoise now and I'm going to go around those two horizontal pieces and I'm going to come right up right up the middle let's go around and then right up the middle and then you can just drape it down next I'm going to take the turquoise on my left and I'm going to go around those two horizontal pieces again and come right up the middle. So go over them and around right up the middle. You can drape that down also. Next I'm going to take my red that is on my right side. What I want to do here is I want to find those two horizontal pieces but I'm going to go to the right of my turquoise and I'm going to go around those as well and then come up and I'll be on my left side of the cord that I'm working. So take the one on the right, go around, come up and I am on the left side of my working cord. Take the red on the left side now and you're going to go all the way to the left, find those two horizontal pieces you're going to go around those two horizontal pieces and you're going to come up on the right side of your working cord so go over and around and then you come up the right side and now you can tighten it up so once you have it tightened up we can start that weave again I'm going to start on my right side with my burnt orange and I'm going to go underneath that first cord right up the middle and then over the second cord. Then I'm going to take the one on my left now I'm going to go underneath the cord that I just worked right up the middle and then over that second cord. Next I'm going to take my orange and cream the diamond and I'm going to go underneath my work right up the middle and then down that loop on my right take the one on my left now I'm going to go underneath right up the middle and down that loop on my left. Now I'm going to take my red on my right side. I'm going to find those two horizontal pieces again. I'm going to go 
over and around and straight up the middle again. So I'm going to go over, around, and straight up the middle. And then you can just drape it down. Take the one on the left. You're going to go over and around and straight up the middle. So go over and around, straight up the middle. And now for the turquoise. So on this weave, I switched it. Before, on the first weave, I started with the turquoise when I was working these middle cords. Now I started the red. And it's going to go back and forth like that. So I'm going to take the turquoise now on my right side. And make sure they're not twisted because when you pull them really tight, sometimes they can get squished and twisted. So I'm going to take the one on my right. And I'm going to go all the way to my right side of my red. Find those two horizontal pieces and I'm going to go over and around and I'm going to come up the right side of my working cord, sorry, the left side, the left side of my working cord. Next I'm going to go all the way to the left now, take my turquoise on the left and I'm going to go around those two horizontal pieces again and I'm going to come up on the right side of my cord. So go over and around and right up. And now you can tighten it up. Okay, so once you have that tightened up, we can start again. I'm going to start on my right side with my burnt orange. And I'm going to go underneath, right up the middle, and then over my second cord. I'm going to take the burnt orange on my left and go underneath the cord that I just worked. I'm going to take this one and go right up the middle again and then over that second cord. Next I'm going to take the orange diamond on my right side and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go underneath all of my work, right up the middle and then down that loop on my left side, sorry my right side, oh my gosh I don't know my right from my left today. Um, I'm going to go down the loop on my right side. Next, I'm going to take the one on my left, go underneath, right up the middle again, and then go down that loop on my left side. Now I'm going to find those two horizontal pieces that are in the middle, pick up on them a little bit, and now I'm going to take my turquoise. It's the next cord over, um, and like I said, it just each time it's going to be um, switching. So before I did the red, this time I'm going to be doing the turquoise. My next weave, I'll be doing the red. So you just want to start with the one that's first that's coming out of the weave. So I'm going to take my turquoise on my right and I'm going to go over and around right up the middle and then I can drape that one down. I'm going to take the turquoise on my left side, go over and around, and then I can drape that one down. Now I'm going to go all the way to the right, and I'm going to find the two horizontal pieces. I'm going to take my red on my right, I'm going to go over and around, and I'm going to come up and be on the left side of my working cord. Next, I'll go all the way to the left, find my two horizontal pieces, take my left red, go over and around, and now come up on the right side of my working cord, and then you can tighten it up. Okay, so I went a couple more down so you can see like a larger portion of it done, and you can see how... Um, Every other one is red and that's because you're, like I said, going back and forth with those two colors of the uh, red and the turquoise in the middle. So I'm going to continue this weave all the way down and once I get to the end I will show you how I do my tie off and what it looks like with the Biothene adapter on. Okay guys, so I'm at the end of my collar now and we can sew or weave in these four 
top cords, the two red and the two um, turquoise. I did take it off the jig and I'm going to start with my red and I am going to be using a pericord needle. I am going to go right in this hole right between the two cow stitches, just in that hole. I'm going to put both red cords through that hole. Next I'm going to take the turquoise and you have, you see you have a gap right here on the side, right, right in here. You're going to go in that gap with your turquoise and then you're going to have a gap on the other side right over here and you're going to take the left cord and you're going to put it through that hole. So you'll put the right through the right, the left through the left. By putting your cords through that way you keep that design all the way to the end. And now we can uh, cut and melt the sides. So I definitely start on my sides, I, I think it's easier. So I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch or so up. I'm going to fray them out quite a bit. And then I'm going to Sorry about that, couldn't find my lighter. And then I'm going to melt them and then squish them down with my knife. So I'm going to start with the top one. I'm trying not to let it catch on fire, but it does happen. melt it a little bit more because it doesn't seem to be sticking very well. I'm going to do the same with the orange diamond. Now I will do the same on the other side. Once I've gotten both sides done, I will start in the middle. I'm going to start with my um, teal on my right. And I'm going to cut it the same length. Fray it out. And I will Burn that and smash it down as well. And now I will do the rest of the cords. Okay guys, so once you finished melting it, you can use the collar as is. You can hook up your adapter to it and, and use it. Um, I like to use a little bit of clear non-foaming Gorilla Glue on the ends that I um, burnt and, and melted down. And you don't need a whole bunch, but it's just like a little bit of an extra security. I don't want anything to come apart. And I've never had any problems, no customers have ever said anything or friends that I've given collars out to. Um, none of that, no, nobody said anything so far. And I haven't had any problems either. So, um, I, I just like to do it for extra security, especially because I do sell these collars. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this dry. Once it's dry, I'll show you guys what the finish looks like when I have the biothene on.